failure to success. It was finally time for the launch. We had worked for seven long years for this moment. The whole team waited anxiously as SLV-3, India's first satellite launch vehicle, was prepared for the launch. The countdown began. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, lift off! The first stage performed to perfection. We stood spellbound watching. Our hopes soaring in the form of SLV-3. Suddenly, the spell was broken. The second stage went out of control and the flight was terminated after 317 seconds. The rocket crashed into the sea and all our hopes drowned with it. One moment there was magic, the next a feeling of utter hopelessness. This event came as a big shock to most of us. I felt angry and frustrated. A press conference was scheduled. The causes of the failure were to be discussed. I felt responsible for the crash and a dread filled my heart. I knew that the press would be full of critics waiting to blame my team and me. But my chairman, Professor Satish Thawan, took the mic from me and answered all the questions confidently. His composure and his clarity of thought really impressed me. He said, these are very complex missions. We have to find out what went wrong, correct it, and then make sure that it's not repeated. He also added, I'm confident that in exactly a year's time, we can successfully place a satellite in orbit. His last sentence made my heart sore. I had hardly slept for the past week and I went straight to my room and fell on my bed. Exactly one year later, on 18th July 1980, the whole nation was watching us again. It was time for the launch that was going to change the future of the Indian Space Program. In the early hours of the day, SLV-3 lifted off. The satellite was successfully put into orbit. Then I got the opportunity to speak the most important words I have ever uttered in my life. Mission Director calling all stations. All stages performed successfully and the Rohini satellite is now in orbit. There was a loud cheer everywhere. When I came out of the building, my colleagues lifted me on their shoulders and paraded me around the launching pad. It was my proudest and happiest moment. I was so proud of my team. The whole nation was excited. India had made its entry into the small elite group of nations that possessed satellite launch capability. Every newspaper carried headlines of the event. A press conference was held once again and I requested Professor Satish Dhawan to address it. But this time, he turned the mic towards me and let me face the questions. He knew how hard I had worked for the project. 
and thought I should be given the privilege of facing the press. That day, I learned how a leader guides his team. Taking the blame when faced with failure and sharing the praise in the event of success. I hoped that someday I could also support my team in the same way.